Hello, human beings. My name is B. Creel, official welcome to your yoga practice. Today, we're really gonna jump in. This practice is going to be short, sweet, energizing, all the things maybe that you need first thing in the morning, <laughs> or maybe later in the day when you hit that 3 p.m. point, that midday slump. This is for you a short, sweet opportunity to change the course of your day. Ideally, when we practice yoga, we think about showing up without judgment, but with all the intention to make something happen, no matter how small. So if you'll join me in a comfortable seat, that is where we will begin today. You'll just take a moment here to ground down. So feel your seat plug in, Feel your spine lengthen up toward the sky. And then just allow your shoulders to soften any amount down away from your ears. If you'd like to set an intention for your practice today, now would be a good time to do so. Your intention can be anything along the lines of what brought you here, what sets you on fire, what lights you up, what brings life to your day. Let's bring that into practice. Take a big breath in here. Let something go as you exhale. Again, just like that big breath in. And an exhale. All right, my friends, meet me on all fours, hands and knees. We're gonna get into it right away. Hands underneath your shoulders, knees beneath your hips. You'll take a breath in, drop the belly, open the chest, gaze goes up. Exhale, round through the spine, chin to chest. Again, just like that, breathing in, drop the belly, open the chest, chin lifts up. And exhale, round through the spine. Now you have the next few moments to explore. So you can keep this cat-cow motion, forwards and backwards, or you can make it more circular. If your body's feeling particularly tight today, maybe you involve the hips, maybe you circle the head and neck, but ultimately this is for you. So keeping your intention with you, you might ask yourself, how will I move today to fuel that intention? Start to find stillness here. Hands are still underneath your shoulders. Step your right toes to the back and just start to pull forwards and backwards so it's almost like we're waking up one part of the body at a time and then keeping your right toes tucked you'll press into your hands a little bit more as you find stillness extend your left leg back behind you so you're in a high plank and we're gonna move it forwards and backwards wrists are starting to warm up more bottoms of feet and we'll hold it here for three you can start to find stillness two and one, downward facing dog, lift your seat high. You can start to pedal through your feet, shake your head yes and no, just keeping things moving at first. And then with your next breath in, right away, high plank. Exhale, downward facing dog, bring it back. Two more times like that, inhale, high plank. Downward facing dog, exhale, very good. This time, inhale, high plank. As you breathe out, knees up or knees down, you'll lower to your belly. Let's find a cobra pose. So squeeze the legs together, elbows draw into your sides, and then just a little back bend here. You're not using the hands in this first one, so if you wanna hover the hands off the mat just to really use the low back, you can. Take a big breath in. As you exhale, slowly lower and press back onto hands and knees. Move the knees in a little closer beneath the hips, hands underneath your shoulders. Let's step the left toes to the back and just start to pulse forwards and backwards. So giving this side a little bit of love. And then just as we did before, find stillness, keep the left toes tucked. You'll extend the right leg back behind you, crown of head reaching forward. Now take a breath and start to pour the weight into your left hand. Let both heels fall to the left side, peel your right arm open to the sky, side plank. Start to sweep your right arm forward and down, high plank. Pour the weight into your right hand, both heels drop to the right, left arm reaches up toward the sky. Sweep your left arm forward and down, high plank, big breath in. Downward facing dog, exhale. Reset, take a big breath in. And a full breath out. From here, you'll lift your right leg up and back, down dog split. 
Bend the right knee, open the right hip as you exhale. Then breathing in, square off the hips, lengthen through that right leg. As you exhale, knee to nose, round through the upper back. Inhale, down dog split, right leg reaches high. This time as you exhale, knee to nose, step right foot to right thumb, runner's lunge. So right knee is over the right ankle, left heel kicks back. Get lighter on your fingertips so that you can draw the shoulders back and reach the heart forward. Big breath in. As you exhale, step your left foot to the top and fold over the legs. If you're really particular about your measure, you can place two fists in between the arch of your feet. And then I would say bend your knees a little bit more than you think you need to here. Still just starting to warm up. Maybe grabbing for opposite elbows, take a little sway side to side. And then from here, you'll walk your hands up to your shins, lengthen through the spine, wiggle the waist forward, big breath in. Fold, release as you exhale. Keep a soft bend in your knees, start to roll up one vertebrae at a time. And as you arrive at the top, roll the shoulders up, back and down forwards down and back maybe just give your arms a big shake hands a big shake and then arms rest down by your sides palms face forward ready to receive your intention for the day and then with your next breath in sweep the arms up look up palms press fold and release exhale lengthen the spine hands to shins breathe in exhale hands to the ground step both feet back high plank Pose, big breath in. Just as we did before, as you exhale, pour the weight into the left hand, heels dip to the left, right arm reaches up toward the sky. This time, can you bump your hips up, big breath in. As you exhale, sweep the right arm over the ear, right hand comes down. Pour the weight into your right hand, let both heels dip to the right. Left arm reaches up, big breath in. Bump your hips up as you exhale. From here, sweep your left arm over the ear. Left hand comes down, high plank. Downward facing dog, breathe out. Reset, inhale. Let something go, exhale. Again, just like that, big breath in. And an exhale out. Left leg reaches up and back, breathe in. Bend your left knee, open the left hip as you exhale. Then breathing in, you'll square off the hips, all five of your left toes point down. Exhale, knee to nose, round through the upper back, press down into your hands. Again, inhale, left leg goes high, down dog split. Exhale, knee to nose, you'll step the left foot to your left thumb. Back in that runner's lunge, so just doing a little alignment check, left knee over left ankle, right heel kicking back. I like to get nice and light on the fingers, looking forward, breathe in. You'll step to the top and fold as you exhale. Halfway lift, hands to shins. Fold as you exhale. Breathing in, press into your feet, rise to stand, circle the arms overhead. As you exhale, hands to heart center, arms by your sides. From here, we've got a chair pose. Bend your knees, drop your seat. Sit a little lower as you exhale. Breathing in. Sit a little lower, breathe out. Again, inhale. Forward fold, exhale. Breathing in, hands to shins, wiggle the waist forward. Exhale, hands to the ground, step both feet back. High plank pose, big breath in. Downward facing dog, exhale. Take a moment here, breathe in. And a breath out. There's just a little fly following me here. <laughs> and then from here, you'll tap your knees to the ground, child's pose, seat to heels. So you can bring your knees nice and wide, maybe as wide as your mat. And as your seat pulls back, if you want to keep this more active, your fingertips can reach forward. And you can even keep your head hovering off the ground. Take a breath in. And a breath out. With your next inhale, you'll pull yourself forward onto hands and knees. 
swing the legs out in front of you and then once again you're going to join me in a comfortable seat if you can remember which leg you had in front just switching the cross this time and we come full circle here sitting up tall hands rest down in the lap eyes settle closed or gaze can be soft toward the ground allowing for a moment of stillness a moment to just let the energy settle that we just created and then if you could offer yourself a bit of credit a bit of gratitude today for showing up i encourage you to do so in this moment if it feels honest to you, hands come to heart center, thumbs in the middle of your chest. We'll take a big breath in here. And then as you exhale, subtle bow toward yourself in gratitude. When you're ready, you can start to come back up. Corners of your mouth lift, gentle smile. Thank you so much for your practice today. I hope that you enjoyed this little mini flow at the beach. I know I did. If you would like to deepen your yoga and meditation practice, I run an online membership. You can choose to sign up for a month, join anytime, cancel anytime, or you can sign up for the entire year, which has exclusive benefits. Head over to my website, beyourhealth.com slash the challenge to find out more. And I look forward to seeing you all very soon.